Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back or to get over your ex. This week, I want to talk about no contact versus radio silence. What is the difference between the two? And also, when should you use no contact and when should you use radio silence? Stay tuned and you'll find out. But first, I want to welcome back my beautiful no contact army. If you're having trouble staying in no contact, just download my app Silencio. The link is underneath every single video and podcast. And when you're about to break no contact, just hit the panic button and you will receive a special message from me. And if you too would like to join our no contact army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in. And to read our manual, go to nocontactsecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before purchasing the book. So this concludes this video portion. Stay tuned for the audio portion and I will see you next week. Okay, let's talk about the difference between no contact and radio silence. So for those of you in the no contact army or those of you that have been researching how to get an ex back, you probably know that no contact means that you do not contact your ex. You wait for them to contact you. You wait for them to say something significant and then you respond but otherwise you just carry on your life pretty much as normal, but you just make sure that you don't reach out to them and you don't go to any places where they're gonna be. So if you usually go to the same gym, sorry, you're gonna have to change gyms, change churches, change change whatever. Radio silence basically means that you've temporarily died. (laughs) You totally disappear as if you were dead. Luckily, it's only temporary, right? So that means that of course, you do not contact them, you do not post on social media, and you do not show your status on any messenger apps where they can see that you're on or off them. So Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, whatever. And no information to mutual friends. So it's like they do not know anything about what's going on with you. That's the main difference. You totally disappear. Whereas with no contact, you don't disappear, you just don't contact them. So when do you use no contact and when do you use radio silence? Well, there's a few things to keep in mind. If your ex was super angry at the end of the relationship or if you begged and pleaded, then a few weeks of radio silence is definitely recommended right after the breakup. As the general of the no contact army, my orders are for you to do two weeks of radio silence, at least two weeks. Otherwise, every time they see a post of yours or that you're on a messenger app, then they may get triggered and feel angry all over again or remember your less than ideal behavior at the end of the relationship. Now, by going radio silence, they may still get triggered in other ways, but at least you're not the one triggering them, okay? And radio silence will work well with someone whose interest level was in the 40s when they broke up with you or someone who has an anxious attachment style. So if you suddenly disappear off the face of the earth, they're gonna be very curious. They're gonna be wondering what's going on. That question mark becomes a hook and their interest level goes up. In uh, radio silence, if their interest level was super low or if they have an avoidant attachment style, it's not gonna work as well. It's not gonna have as much of an effect because they're not gonna have anxiety anyway. Avoidants don't have anxiety after a breakup generally they have it in the relationship that's why they can't wait to get out of it Um, and so we have to cause that anxiety and raise that interest level but radio silence isn't going to have as much of an effect on them as it does on people with an anxious attachment style or people with a higher interest level however i still do recommend that again if they were very angry at the end or you begged and pleaded then definitely do two weeks at least of um radio silence. And obviously, if they contact you and say something significant during radio silence, yes, you respond. And if you're doing no contact, you can use social media, whereas with the the radio silence, no social media. So you can use it to your advantage to spark your ex's curiosity, raise their interest level, but it has to be done correctly and at the right time. And as I mentioned in my video about social media during no contact, I'll post the link in the upper right-hand corner here on YouTube. For the first month, you just chill, post normally. Otherwise, it's gonna look obvious that you're trying to get their attention, you're posting just for them. And afterwards, 
you can show that you're starting to move on by going out, trying new things, having fun, etc. But as I said, you have to post the right things to raise their interest level. And I can always tell when a girl, usually it's a girl, <laughs> um, has broken up with someone or she was broken up with because, uh, you know, they start posting these sexy photos. And that's an example of using social media incorrectly after a breakup. And in fact, I saw a meme that mentioned that very thing that post, uh, that girls always post these sexy photos of themselves after a breakup. And then it said, I didn't break up with you because you were ugly. I broke up with you because you're crazy. <laughs> you know, so uh, that's totally true. Obviously, if they thought that you were ugly, they would not be dating you. And if you start posting these super hot photos, it's going to look obvious. It's not going to work. They already know you're hot. I mean, otherwise, why would they have been with you? And there's usually another reason why they broke up with you. And the hot pictures are not going to show that you've changed. So you have to post something that addresses that you've changed whatever it is that you need to change the reason that they broke up with you. Now, the only difference, the only exception is if you leveled up and you look a lot better than you did at the end of the breakup. And I can help definitely help you do that. Uh, in fact, I myself have leveled up in the last four years. If you go to my Instagram, the link is below every video, um, and you scroll, scroll, scroll <laughs> back four years, you'll see photos of me, and then you check the photos now, and you'll see what I mean, okay? I believe I've leveled up. If you disagree, let me know. <laughs> so if they broke up with you for a reason that you haven't worked on uh, or changed, then posting the hot photos isn't going to do anything, okay? Now, the other advantage of no contact is that you can use social media to spark jealousy. And in fact, one of my clients got his ex back. And he said that it turned around and her interest level went up when he used the jealousy card, which I told him to do during our coaching. And this was many months after the breakup and many months after not hearing from her. He posted a photo of himself, or I think it was actually a video, with another woman and she reached out right away and the rest is history. The jealousy card strikes again. <laughs> now you can also use a combination of the two, meaning that sometimes you post and then sometimes you disappear. So again, wait about a month if you haven't heard from your ex and then you can start disappearing on weekends. So you stop posting on Friday night and you don't post again until Monday. And they're going to draw their own conclusions because after a breakup, each person is wondering if the other person has moved on yet, if they found someone else, if they found a rebound. So instead of posting yourself with a member of the opposite sex or the same sex, depending, uh, or using my two drink trick, you can use radio silence over the weekend to disappear and they will more than likely think that you're seeing someone. Meanwhile, you're probably just at home staring at the wall. <laughs> So if you're confused about when to use no contact and when to use radio silence, I understand it's a very delicate dance here of when to use it and when not to use it, then you can always contact me for a coaching session at theartoflove.net. The direct link is below. But in the meantime, I want to hear from you. Have you used radio silence where you totally disappeared? And if you haven't, do you think you're going to give it a try? Let me know. And if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're listening to this as a podcast, please rate and review. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.